Right farmers, it's Monday the 23rd of January and we've got some new mods. So first up, we've got the Lando 7431 VT33 foot. This is by BC Bueller, 14.1 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find it under Disc Harrows. Yeah, it's a big one, must admit. 10.1 meter working width. It's going to require 300 horsepower from your tractor. And it's going to work at 11 mile an hour speed. 80 grand, no options. But... It does have a little trick up its sleeve, which is ace. So if we come out of that, so we'll go and unfold it like that. Very nice indeed. Obviously, 10 meter on the disc arrow. Yeah, fair enough. So we'll then carry on going through this field like that. Oh no, maybe lower it first. That's a good idea. Dear, oh dear. Right, so now it's doing its disc arrow in. All great, not a problem. So it's getting rid of this sword we've got in the field. But if you look there... It's got a bit of a different texture on there. We lift that up again. We'll reverse out of the way. Yeah. But what this is actually doing is mulching and then discoloring afterwards. Two things in one. Obviously, you get a little bit of a bonus from a mulch. And you get a discolor straight away. That is ace. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot, I must admit. I mean, two jobs in one. Oh, very nice. Now, last mod for the day. Yeah, we've only got two today, but all right, it is what it is. Is the Lizard SSK60. This is by Pascal Couch, 14.81 megabyte of the download. And there's three things to this. There's a sugar mill, a grain mill, and this tanker. So you're going to find the tanker actually under trailers. Now, before we actually get into the options, look at what stuff it's going to hold. Wheat, barley, oats, canola, sorghum, sunflower, soybean, corn, seeds, sugar, flour road salt lime and solid fertilizer that's ace it's got 60,000 litre capacity 86 grand to buy change the main color you go for whichever one you want does the main tank chassis color obviously that's going to do the chassis and then you've got the rims at the bottom that's fair enough now this is ace because obviously it's a trailer that looks like a normal tanker but it holds sort of loose bulk stuff that sort of thing yeah and what we've got with these two production chains is they're not normal i mean you've got the normal shenanigans on the go here with it so you've got this sugar beet sugar beet cut and then sugar cane going into the sugar mill and then obviously the four standard flour uh wheat barley oat sorghum going into flour on the grain mill but it's you don't get pallets obviously you load in at those grates fair enough but for the grain mill you come under here and you load in that trailer and then over here is the one for the sugar mill that's ace oh i like that so you know if you're on console like me obviously pallets is a bit of an issue you could just use this <laughs> instead of doing these two with pallets and also we'll zoom in a little look at the hatches on the top these are ace so we'll open them up i'll be in left on the d-pad Ah, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. I love that. Brilliant. Right, so what you do with these, open it up again, that'd be a good idea. What you do is just pull underneath. Obviously, it's a little bit tight, mind you, but once you get there, you just press left stick in if you're on Xbox like me, and it starts filling up. Oh, flour going into the back of a tanker. Obviously, exactly the same thing happens with the sugar mill. Oh, that's all right. But also, if you've got a load of flour pallets and sugar pallets already done, and you want to sort of get rid of them, you can unload them into this. Yeah, you're going to need a telly handle, mind you, just to get up there. And you sort of need to go between the two middle ones. <laughs> Hold on, a bit higher. There you are, that's better. Once you sort of get to about there-ish. Come on! Oh no, I'm on top. Dear, oh dear. This worked earlier on. Honestly, it did. <laughs> oh, shocking. Let me slow it down like that. I mean, it was a bit fiddly before, I know. Ah, there we are. So just over the middle hole. That's it. Pallets going in. Oh, I do like that. That is great. We've also got some updates. We've got the sawmills pack by Ola Holdor. 
We've got the Case IH Axial Flow Series by Matt26. Now, this has got two new harvesters in. The first one is the 1400 Axial Flow Series. So it's got a 112 horsepower engine, and that will go all the way up to 210. Oh, that's all right. And also on this pack, you've got the 1600 Axial Flow Series. So that's going to start off with a 145 horsepower engine, and that goes all the way up to 260. Old school looking track uh, harvesters, that are. Huh? Yeah, very nice. What's got the map Wastelands by FSPT. Now, it does say you need a new save. So if you put some time into that one, you have to start again. Got Polish House by Jopek56. Got the Ponzi Scorpion King by HR Forst and Fargsenbau. Got the Clash Jaguar 900 Type 502 by Skywalker Farms. Got Animal Placeables Pack by Puma145. We've got the map Odyssey Coots 22 by Taker Alice, and it says you need a new save on that one as well. So again, if you put some time in, you may need to start again. So that's your mods done for you. Bit of a quick one, because we only had two. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one.